Uh, well, I felt very confident uh, because we had worked um, earlier since January 23rd to prepare for this pandemic. And uh, also I've had several years experience dealing with other pandemics uh, at a smaller level. So, and I'm, I, w I had absolute confidence in my team that we could, we could do this. But at the same time, we realized that this was just one case. So we didn't know it, what proportions it would take. So, but we planned for the worst and the worst came. I said to my team, you know, you might not realize it, but this is our D-Day. Uh, we knew that a lot of people were uh, counting on us to give a good response. Uh, we knew that we were going into unknown terrain, uh, but at the same time, we were very confident that we were well prepared and that we could, we had very good people on, on, uh, on who we could count on. We had the equipment we needed and we had a lot of guts. So uh, yeah, there is, kind of wartime analogy that we kept going. It was a great way to motivate the troops as well uh, because we knew that this war would, 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 was going to be a very long one. Those that could work from home right away were sent home to work from home. We, we minimized contact right away. Uh, we, uh, we, we disinfect regularly. Uh, we had the right tools and, and the right protocols. And uh, no, I can't, I can't say that anyone was afraid. Like I said earlier, uh, when we started this, I offered the entire staff, the whole 180 security guards, you know, if you want to leave, you can do it now. And, and I would understand. And only one of them left. And he had very valid reasons. So it was, it was very, it was a great moment of pride for me, and and we know okay with we have the we have a very solid team on which we can count on. So I don't think anyone was afraid. There was some apprehension, but no fear.